Whew. Get these batteries. All right. When I was pulling out all these boxes, I saw one thing I'm really excited about. Well, a bunch of things I'm really excited about. But one thing is this big battery that's going to go in the zombie chopper. So I'm really excited about that. When I originally made the zombie chopper, it did have some lithium iron phosphate batteries in them. But it was like ones that were used and I kind of Frankenstein them together. So it was never an optimal situation. And since then, I've made some upgrades, little tweaks to that boat and made it better. And now it's going to get like a real, not a real, but like a new, like really high quality battery. Actually, it's a really high quality battery. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It's made by Sock. Not socks that you wear on your feet. S-O-K. I'm not sure if it stands for something, but it's a sock battery anyway. And they are supposed to be like really, really good quality. So I'm super excited to get that in that boat. And this trip now took me three hours and 20 minutes, maybe just over three hours and 20 minutes to get here. And uh, where I pick up packages is a little bit further than going to town. So it's maybe like three hours going to town. And this was an optimal day. Like, check out the blue skies. I don't have any batteries in this boat. So it slows down when, whenever there's a cloud. But I, I got almost no clouds today. So that was like optimal, optimal speed for this boat. So I'm really excited to see what kind of speed I'm getting in the zombie chopper, which is smaller, and I made it basically just to be, just for speed. It doesn't have a lot of cargo space, but it's perfect for like me and my groceries and you know a few other knickknacks here and there. Uh, I have overloaded it severely a few times, but generally speaking, like me plus a couple hundred pounds, it can handle no problem and still and still go fast and not be in danger of sinking or anything. So I'm excited to see how fast that boat can get here with, with like a good battery in it and uh, with all the other tweaks that I've done to the boat. I fixed up the, the, uh, the drive system, the electrical drive system and stuff. I also have kind of a weird uh, speed controller I think I want to try on that boat. <laughs> I'm not totally sure if I'm going to do it yet, but it basically uses resisting, resistive wire to control the speed, which is like how they used to do old golf carts. And people have told me, no, don't do that, it's ridiculous. Because it's going to waste so much energy. The, the thing is, I'm going to run that boat at full power 99% of the time. I just need a slower speed to accelerate the motor so I'm not just jamming it right into full speed. And then occasionally, like if I'm parking or something like that, I might want to have a slower speed for a few seconds. But almost always, I'm just going to be shorting the batteries directly to the motor. It won't be using any speed controller. So uh, I think I think that'll work well for that boat. Um, all right. Well, I'm just going to shut up and uh, keep driving. And then eventually when I get home, I can pull all the stuff out. Oh, let's see what we got in here. You know, when I was asking around, like sailboat people, sailboat people are very into batteries. So I was asking around about the best batteries to get. I kept getting this recommendation for SOK, S-O-K. Like high quality, if you want something that you're not gonna have to mess with in the future, and it's just gonna be reliable, high quality, amazing, you get SOK batteries. So these are supposed to be like top of the line. Definitely not the, the cheapest batteries you can get, but supposedly completely worth the extra, the extra cost. Of course, that's debatable. Is it extra cost or is it other, or the other ones cutting cost, cutting corners? Anyway, oh, I got a little note here. Please send your order number to uh, their email, register for warranty. Oh, we can get a warranty. If any questions, feel, please feel free to contact us. And I have been in contact with them and they've been very good at answering emails and stuff. Oh, that's some, that's some good looking stuff right there. Whoa, that is like a serious... 
case right there. Let's see if I can sell it. Back out of your box. Ooh, look at that. So this is an SOK 24 volt. What's a three, 361? I guess it's just some model number. Yeah, it's got nice little handles on the side. Uh, I like the metal case. That is very cool. Oh, it's got the recommended charge voltage on it. That's nice. Recommended charge current, max 50 amps. Recommended discharge current, max 100. Well, I'm, I'm not going to go over 50 discharge, so I should be fine with this. Man, that is like a really nice case. Fancy handles and stuff. And then I guess when I connect my wires, I put this on the wires. So it makes a really nice, nice thing there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to check the voltage on this. So this is going to go on the zombie chopper, which is my smallest boat. Also my fastest boat. And I'm hoping that I can cut my 26.5 volts. That's great. So this is going to go into the zombie chopper, which is this boat out here. All right, it's, it's this boat right here. And that battery is not as wide as I was thinking. There is a possibility I might be able to fit it up in this. Oh, I think it'll fit in there. I was thinking to get it up in the front here, I'd have to cut that, that hole bigger. But I think it's pretty close to fitting. I might need to trim it a little bit. But that would be great if I could put it up in there. Because then I don't lose any of my seating cargo area back here. And this boat has pedal power and then electric, electric motor back there, which is not connected to anything right now. I've been driving this boat just on solar panels. So obviously, you know, if it's dark, I'm just pedaling or if there's a cloud, I'm just pedaling. So this is going to be pretty exciting. I'll be able to go full speed even in the dark. Another thing is the amount of the number of solar panels I had on that boat or I have on that boat um, was not enough to run the motor full speed. So I couldn't even run full speed even in full sun. Um, the original incarnation of that boat did have a battery in it and I could run full speed then but the battery was this one I cobbled together together out of used batteries. It wasn't what's that? It was not the greatest situation. So I'm really excited to get a, like a brand new high quality battery in there. I think there's a really good chance that'll fit in that front compartment without even changing the hole. Maybe, I don't know, it's gonna be close. If that could go in and just kind of sit on the floor there, I might need to get some, uh, you know, make some, some better What's it called? Ventilation for that compartment or something. But uh, that, that's not a big deal. I can do that. I'll have to check. I, you know, I think you obviously don't want to let these get hot. So yeah, I should make sure there's some good ventilation in there. I'm hoping that once I get this in the boat and set up and everything, I'm hoping I can do the trip to town, which took me three hours and 20 minutes yesterday. I'm hoping I can cut that time in half. Like, I mean, an hour and a half would be amazing. Under two hours. I want under two hours reliably anyway. Uh, but yeah, kind of, kind of aiming toward an hour and a half trip, which would be really, that would be pretty sweet. Because like a, a gas motorboat is like, kind of like a 45 minute trip. So if it takes me twice as long in an electric boat, I'm pretty happy with that. Because, um, you know, to go, to go as fast as a gas motorboat, it would just take, it's just gonna be too much stuff, too much power, too many batteries and all this stuff. And I don't need to go that fast. I'd rather go kind of a more chill pace in a boat that's a lot more quiet that I can actually hear myself think and I don't get there and like, you know, trying to figure out why my ears don't work anymore and all the, the stink of, of gas and everything. Yeah, I'd, 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 I'd way rather go half the speed and uh, just have a peaceful ride, you know? I'm hoping this guy can get me to town in my little boat in an hour and a half, or as close to it as possible.
Under two hours, anyway. You'll have to excuse my rambling a little bit. I'm always, I'm always exhausted the day after that trip. You know, it's a seven plus hour trip there and back. And I'm pedaling the whole way, so my legs are a little sore today. My brain is a little foggy, just, just, just exhausted, you know? Um, but if I can get that trip down to like three hours, three or four hours, pff, that'll be a piece of cake. And uh, that little boat will be, will, will hold enough cargo for like 90% of my town trips. Because most of the time I, I go to town, I'm just getting food and maybe a few little, you know, like angle grinder discs or some paint or something, you know, just, just a little bit of stuff. The only time I'll need a bigger boat is if I'm going to get concrete or well, cement or, you know, something like that or just anything, anything big and heavy. All right, I'm going to shut up because I'm excited to get this battery installed into the boat. Just got to get my brains. <laughs> I got to get my brains up to speed. They're a little bit slow today from exhaustion. Come on, brains. Oh, and I wanted to figure out how long I can run that boat on that battery at full speed. So the, the battery is 100 amp hours. And if I remember right, the motor uses about 50 amps. I think a little over 50 amps. Well, let's say 50 amps. Uh, so that means it'll run, the, the battery will run that motor for two hours at, at full speed. Um, a little bit less than two hours since it's a bit over 50 amps. So yeah, I mean, that should get me one way to town at full speed, no problem. Um, you know, in the dark. And obviously while I'm driving, I still have the solar panels on the boat. So they're charging the the battery as I'm going and, you know, supplying the motor with energy so the battery doesn't have to supply all the energy. And then when I'm parked, it'll charge again while I'm, while I'm sitting there parked. And then I can drive back full speed. Oh, this, oh, this is going to be so excited. So exciting. I'm so, I'm so excited. All right. I gotta, I, I'm gonna shut up and, and get to work on this.